Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is Sword Array by Parity. I apologize about the audio, I still can't fix this microphone. Given an array of non-negative integers, we turn an array consisting of all even elements followed by the odd elements. Basically, we want to sort this array by even first and then odd second. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. There's a couple approaches we can do this by. First method is to use the built-in sort method. But what we're going to do is pass in a key with a lambda function. So we'll pass in x. And what we'll say is, hey, if there's, if it's, well, if it's even, we want to put it first. But if it's odd, we want to put it second, right? So what we can just do is do a modular. And if there's any remainder at all, uh, if it's odd, it'd be one. So those will come second. And if it's even, it'd be zero. So those come first. And that would be it. We can just return that by uh, sorting it that way. So this apparently is a n log n solution because you normally sorting is n log n time complexity even though I suspect it's pretty close to n just because of what our lambda function is doing but uh, it also ends up using O of n space well depending on the sorting method built-in method so um, what are some other ways we can do this like another way we could solve this is doing it at one pass but um, building up a separate array. So we can have our output here and we'll say for all our numbers in A, if it's even, so we can do that by using modular, uh, we want to prepend it. We want to put it to the left side of this output. So we can just do that by using the insert, put it to the zero index and pass prepend A. Otherwise append it because it's an odd and we'll just get our answer that way. It's all jumbled up now but I mean, that shouldn't matter because all the even ones are first and odds are second. The final way to do it is to use two pointers. And this is basically where we're just uh, d incrementing and decrementing these pointers and finding out, figuring out if the even one and odd one is basically on the wrong side. So as soon as we find an even one on this side and an odd one on this one, we'll flip it. Uh, so to do that, we'll just have two pointers say i and length of a is going to be or I should say length of a minus one uh, so while i is less than j what do we want to do first we want to check to see if our condition is met right so if a uh, if it's basically if it's the i the first pointer is odd and this side is even, then we want to swap. So to do that, it's just a simple yeah, type. Uh, it's been a busy morning, having trouble typing. All right, and um, after that, we want to decrement and increment by the right point so what we'll say is all right if a is uh, even then we will uh, increase our one and same thing here if a is j or I should say this is odd so um, we'll document like this and after that we can just return our a because everything should be sorted And there we go. So those are the three approaches. Um, yeah, I mean, all three of them work. It's pretty straightforward. I would, you know, definitely remember these. So, all right, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.